Hello and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is day number 115 of the 365 day trivia road trip. This is a year full of 21 question random knowledge trivia quizzes. There's 20 questions up front. Make sure you stick around for the question 21 tiebreaker at the very end of this video. I think that's it. Thank you for watching and good luck on today's quiz. Question number one. One of the most recognizable characteristics of Gothic architecture, what is the name for the carvings of grotesque figures, faces, or creatures perched along the roofs and battlements of buildings that serve as water spouts? The answer is gargoyles. Question number two. The name of this famous dish is actually a contraction of the words for her in Spanish. What is the name of this popular Spanish dish containing vegetables, seafood, and chicken and flavored with saffron? The answer is paella. Question number three. Although some travelers arrive through the smaller Orly airport, most of the air traffic to the city of Paris comes through what popular international airport that was named after a former French president? That would be the Charles de Gaulle Airport. Question number four. In human nutrition, necessary bulk minerals beginning with P are phosphorus and this element. Although it starts with a P, its atomic symbol is K from the Latin calium. What is this element found in bananas and seawater? The answer is potassium. Question number five. Leading the Green Bay Packers to back-to-back -back Super Bowl victories in Super Bowl one and two, what was the name of the starting quarterback who played for Green Bay from 1956 until he retired in 71, becoming the team's head coach in 1975? The answer is Bart Starr. Question number six. Outside of Japan, it's often misunderstood to just mean raw fish. However, in Japanese cuisine, what name, meaning sour rice, is given to vinegar seasoned rice, usually topped with a variety of ingredients including seafood, cooked or uncooked, and vegetables? I'm going to have this for lunch today. The answer is sushi. Question number seven. Beta carotene is one source of this dietary important substance and retinol is a yellow fat soluble form. The best sources for this vitamin are sweet potatoes, spinach, and liver. What is this vitamin that is important in preventing night blindness? The answer is vitamin A. Question number eight. Six different flags have flown over Texas. That is, six different countries have existed on Texan land. What are the two European countries that are on that list, one ruling it for three centuries until the independence of Mexico, while the other briefly held a small portion of it as part of the Louisiana Territory?
those two European countries are Spain and France. Question number nine. Madagascar is the only native home to these primates, which spend most of their time in trees. The ring-tailed species of what animal is on the endangered species list due to habitat loss? This animal is the lemur. Question number 10. This was said by Mark Anthony in Shakespeare's Julius Caesar and later quoted by, among others, a Klingon in Star Trek IV. In its entirety, Antony's order was, cry havoc and let slip what? Cry havoc and let slip the dogs of war. Question number 11. This biome's name comes from the Russian for north of the timberline. Mosses, lichens, caribou, lemmings, and flies are some of the principal organisms that live in what northernmost biome? The answer is the tundra. Question number 12. The collective name used to refer to the fluid which fills the eyeball, both aqueous and vitreous, is what term which can also be used as a verb meaning to indulge and as a noun meaning something that is funny. The answer is humor. Aqueous and vitreous humor is what fills the eyeball. Question number 13. Though you might try to avoid sleeping, you are only human and you will sleep eventually. I guess this nightmare knows that, so he stalks victims with confidence and patience, knowing he'll get them in the end. What is the name of this burn victim turned villain from horror films? From the Nightmare on Elm Street series, the answer is Freddy Krueger. Question 14. Its liquid upper portion is known as the asthenosphere, and it extends from about 1,100 miles down to, in some places, only about 3 miles beneath the Earth's surface. What is this layer of the Earth, comprising roughly two-thirds of the planet's mass, which lies between the core and and the crust. The answer is the mantle. Question number 15. After defeating the White Witch in this novel, the Pevinci children become kings and queens with the help of the resurrected Aslan. What is this C.S. Lewis novel in which four siblings travel through a piece of furniture to the land of Narnia. The answer is the lion, the witch, and the wardrobe. Question number 16. Affecting approximately 3% of adults in America and similar numbers worldwide, what is the common name for the abnormal condition of somnambulism or noctambulism that belongs to the parasomnia family of disorders? Somnambulism is better known as sleepwalking. Question number 17. The Gothic Doge's Palace, the Bridge of Sighs and Rialto Bridge, and St. Mark's Basilica 
are among the landmarks in what Italian city known for its canals and its gondola rides? The answer is Venice. Question number 18. Common to boxers, rugby players, and wrestlers, what is the condition called when blunt trauma or other injury causes a blood clot in the ear that causes the outer ear to swell and become deformed? The answer is cauliflower ear. Question number 19. The oldest continuously operating chocolate maker in America, what is the name of the chocolatier that is named after an Italian candy maker based in San Francisco that makes rich, delicious chocolate famously sold in squares? That would be Ghirardelli. And question 20. This Stone Age couple have the best friends Barney and Betty Rubble who live next door. She is a stay-at-home mom taking care of their daughter Pebbles and pet Dino. He works at the Slate Rock and Gravel Company. Who is this lovable pair? first and last names. The answer is Fred and Wilma Flintstone. All right, that is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Tripia. All right, so it is Tuesday, but I haven't left yet. It, uh, the time this show first airs, I'm still at home, but we're getting ready to go to the airport. We're flying down to Miami. Tomorrow we'll be leaving on a cruise. I'll be gone for, it's a nine day cruise. And then I think we got another day in Miami when we come back. So I've got all these episodes uploaded and ready. I'll be watching in the live premieres, but these episodes are pre-recorded, just so you know. Subscribe if you want to follow along. Here's question 21, the tiebreaker for today. A speedboat travels 100 miles in 2 hours and 30 minutes. What is the average speed of the boat in miles per hour? One hundred miles in 2 hours and 30 minutes. On average, how fast was he going? The answer is 40 miles per hour. And as luck would have it, this is the couple <laughs> that were going, well, the first one and the third one, they're the couple that we're going on the cruise with. So I'll finally get to see them. I haven't seen them since we left England, but we're getting together. We're doing a nine day cruise around the Caribbean. Should be a good time. I look forward to getting back uh, early May and getting back to trivia though. See you then.